All right, today I'm gonna to be walking through step-by-step step how to tool this from the pattern pack that I have. Uh, there's four of them, so this will be the first of four. If you'd like to check that out, I'll have the link in the description. Uh, please subscribe to stay up to date when I come out with the, the tooling walkthroughs of the other patterns that I have. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get it prepped to tool is put masking tape on the back. And what that'll do is it'll prevent the leather from stretching out as you're tooling it. Because if you don't tape the back of it, as you're hitting down on it, it'll just slowly um, stretch it out. And then depending on what you're making, it'll, it'll make it not fit, so. Put the masking tape on the back and then I just rip the ends off so that I don't have tape hanging off the edges because it'll get annoying when it sticks to you as you're trying to tool. And then now that the tape is on, I'll just take a spray bottle and get it sprayed down pretty good. And then I want, once I have that sprayed, take a Ziploc bag and put it in the bag. And this, the bag will just hold the moisture in so that it'll soak in throughout the leather evenly. And if you're tooling a whole length belt, you'll just roll it up so that it'll fit in the bag. Or you could do a trash can or anything. And then you wanna make sure that you put the tape on before you put it in the bag, because if you get it wet, and you let it sit in the bag when you pull it out the tape won't stick to the back so the leather will still stretch stretch out so now i'll just let that sit for like 30 minutes to an hour maybe and then it'll be ready to tool all right so i'll give it give it a little bit of time to have the water soak in so I'll take it out and then it feels a little bit dry, so before we start cutting it, I'm going to spray down a little bit. I don't want to get it too wet this time, just kind of a coating of water over the top. And now the first step will be to take the swivel knife and go through and cut out the design. So I'm gonna take this. This is just a polishing compound. Uh, this is a leather wrangler swivel knife. And then this polishing compound I got from him too. Run it over a couple times. Now we're ready to start cutting this out. So the way that I normally do it is I usually start out with the main elements. So for that, that would be the flower and then I'll do the, the leaf and then the next flower again. So we'll just start out with this. And if you'd like another in-depth video I have about tooling flowers, I'll put up a link to that right now. you're just going to want to go through start out deep and then when you come around here lift lift up so that the edge is faded right about there you want to remember to be cutting on the back part of the blade and then always feel free to turn your piece while you're working on it So we got the first flower cut out. Now I'll go ahead and do this leaf next. And then when you're cutting the stem out, I like to cut the one on the right first. 
I'll go ahead and do that. And then that way, when I go to cut this other side, I'm able to see the line that I already cut to make sure that the spacing's all right. Because if I cut this outside one first and then I do this one, the blade blocks the back side. So I'll go through and cut this left side one now. And then same as with the leaves on these cuts, you want to start out not super deep, but go down and then as you're coming up to the end of the line, you're going to lift it up. And you'll do that with all of these lines that fade back. And then it's nice to have the paper with you because sometimes these lines can be a little bit hard to see. So if there's a spot that your line's not showing up very well, you can always reference the, the pattern. So there we got that section done. And then I'll go ahead and move up to this flower here. So on this first flower, I left a little opening there, and that's because when you go to tool it, I'll be using a flower center, so I'll just put that in the middle and stamp it. But on this one, we have vine work coming out of the center of it. So the way that I tool these is I'll kind of start, and I'll get a pencil. I start right about here with my cut. And then I'll do like a little circle around it. And that'll kind of create a little bit the look of a hole for that vine work to come out of. So just do like a C right there. And then when you go to tool it, we'll push this area down so that it'll look like this vine work is coming out of that, that center. So now that we got that flower center cut out, I usually do the stem next. So start out deep and then fade it. So that little section's done. And then if we we're doing a full belt, there'd be another flower right here because that would be where the pattern starts to repeat itself. So I'd do this flower, and then again, I'd start with the stem. And then here is where I'll probably need to have this reference here because my lines aren't really showing up very well. And as you do more and more practice, you'll you'll start to get your own kind of way of doing it down, like what you like to do first and everything. This is just the way that I do it. There's no right or wrong. You could do whatever you whatever order you want of doing it, but this is just the way that I've the order that I've been doing it in. So there I got all the lines cut out so now after I have all the floral parts cut out this is where I'll go back and put in this line here and any point where the design crosses over you'll just stop and then go back to where that line starts again because you don't want to cross over these lines so with this one I'll probably start right here because this part's going over the border you want to go nice and slow here just to make sure that you don't keep it a straight line and then this goes over a little bit so i'll stop there and then start on the other side And then again, that flower 
crosses over it a little bit. So I'll stop, go on the other side of the flower, and continue. And even though it's not fully crossing over the line, once you tool it, it'll push it out, and you don't want them. You don't want two lines that are being beveled opposite ways to cross each other because then it looks not too good. So then do the same thing on this side. And here you can see that that flower goes a lot over the border there. So we'll stop, go to the other side. And then again here. This is all pretty much over the line. So I'll just start again right here and stop. So there we have everything cut. Uh, if this was a full length belt, you'd go through and do it. Do that along the whole belt, get it all cut out. So now we're gonna go start tooling and I'm just gonna go straight into it because the leather feels good. Um, if you get done cutting and it feels pretty dry, you could give it another coating of water to spray it down real quick and then give it a minute to dry. But this feels good, so I'm going to start getting on it. The first thing I do when I'm tooling is just do a flower center. This is a craft tool from Tandy. We just line it up in the center. Hit that. Another way you could do it is you could take your knife, cut out a circle, and then bevel around the edges. Just whatever you like or whatever tools you have, just gotta make it work. So if this was a full length belt again, I'd do this and then I'd go to the next one and the next one and do that for all the flowers. And now I can go through and bevel out the flower. And you can see it's kind of a, it goes straight down and then it's angled out. So that straight down edge, you want to be facing towards the flower. And then the angled part, you want to face away so that when you tool it, it pushes the background and it brings the flower up to the foreground. So there's one petal and you can see that it's been brought up to the foreground because we angled the bevel away from it and that pushed the background down. So I'll go around and do that to all five petals. And then with this petal right here, you want to treat it like it's hitting the border and then folding back in on itself. So this straight line right here, the background is going to be that way. And then this line right here, the background will be towards the flower. So that when it's tooled, it makes it look like it's folding back this way. So we got one pedal left. All right, so that, that flower is completely beveled out. So if you wanted to, you could go through and bevel the whole thing. Again, it's just whatever you prefer to do, what order you prefer to do it in. But I usually just go through and add all the detail to the flower after I bevel it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a mule's foot, or my bad, thumbprint, just this long oval deal. And there's a smaller side, thin side, and a wide side. 
So I'll take the wider side of it and you just do go around it in circles around the center and you want to angle it so that it's on this side and that'll give it the effect of the petals kind of coming out of the flower. So we'll do that to all five petals. So the center is done. And now we'll take the small side of it and you'll put it right inside this little rounded point and then you want to face it back towards the center. So you put it right inside. You'll hit it like that. And you'll do that for the center one and then one on either side of it. So I usually just do three on each petal. And go around all of them. And then on this petal that folds over on itself, I'll just go through and do one right there and then one next to it. And then if you wanted to, just like you did on the center one, you can hit it right here to kind of give it the effect of folding over again. And then on this center that's kind of cut off, I'll just put two. Right there. So then that flower is done being tooled. But what I'll do is I go back and add some decoration cuts into it. So what I do for those is I start in the center one. And then from there, kind of curve it like that back towards the center like that and then I'll add in two on either side so total on that pedal there will be three cuts and then do the same thing on the other side So on these two petals, they're coming in like that. And then on these petals, they'll come in, these two bottom ones, they'll come in like that. And depending on how small these are, if I don't have enough room, I'll just do one or maybe two. I'll add in three on this one though. So there's three on each side. And then for this one, because it's it's going straight back almost, I'll just do, I won't curve it as much, but just add three lines in there. Okay. So now I'll take the bevel back out again and go to the next element, which is the leaf. And I'll start with the stem. And then just like you did with the swivel knife, as you get closer to the end, you start to hit it lighter so that it kind of tapers off. So we'll go through on this side. So for the beveling, just like the flower, you want the bevel to be pushing the background down. So this this stem here is in the middle of the design and then every on this side you want it to push out that way and then on this side you want it to push that way so everything on this side of the stem you want the angle going that way and everything on this side of the stem you want the angle going that way just so going out that way just for these long lines here So these 
these lines that are longer are called long lines. And then these little lines in here that connect to the other long line, those are called the short lines. So for the short lines, I'll just come in and do a tap. So now we're on this side of the stem, so we want the angle going that way. And you'll do all the long lines. And then this element here, this one, it's like a little turn back. So it looks like it's coming here and then it hits the leaf and then it turns back. So you're gonna bevel all the way up into here. And then here, this line, you're gonna bevel this way out here. And then this line, you're gonna bevel that way. Just like that. And now, I'll go and bevel the leaf. And it's the same process as doing the petals on the flower. All right, so the leaf beveled out. And then I'll go through and do this stem back and then do this leaf or add detail into the leaf. So just like this stem here, this piece is the stem for the flower. So then everything on this side, these long lines get beveled that way. And then everything on this side, these long lines, they get beveled out that way. Remember to taper off the long lines at the end. Now we'll go to the other side. So now we're gonna have it doing the opposite, angled the opposite way. Just doing these long lines. And then we can go back and do these little short lines. So, this is like one side of the um, little sticker here, and this is the other side. So you want this to be background and this to be background. So that's when you go back and do these short lines, you'll just do them the opposite way so that when you they come indented, this area sticks out, this area sticks out, and this area will stick out. Now I can go through and add, take my thumbprint again, and each one of these that just come out and go straight back. I'll put the thumbprint in there and I'll hit it and then I'll just kind of drag it back a little bit. So get it deep and then drag out and then we'll slowly start to hit it lighter. And you'll do that for these two, this one right here, and then this one here. And then for these ones that are turning back, you're going to put it right in here and then angle it back to kind of show the turn back of it. Just like that. And then another turn back here. So then I'll go through, do that to the ear here. There's a turn back here, and then another sticker here. So now I'll go to that flower. And this will just be the same process as the other flower. This one I'll just do two because it's getting covered up here. This one. Add in my, my deco cuts. 
And then with the leaf, you can just take the thumbprint again and just put it in every single one of these indents here. And then if you'd like, you can add in decoration cuts. There's no right or wrong to these. You can just do kind of whatever you like. So now I'll go in and do this fine work here. Uh, I'm not going to be as in detail with these ones because it's the same exact process, but I'll keep the camera running and go through and do those quickly so you can see how it'd be done. So I'm all done with beveling and I'm about to run out of space on my camera. So I'm going to put another card in and then I'll come back to show the detail. All right. So now that we got that beveled out, same as back here, we'll just take a, the thumbprint and then put it in, in these, hit them, bring them back and slowly lift up. So those two, and then I'll do it to this one, and that's the only one left on this side. And then right here, bring it back, this one, And then here, and then the three right here. Okay, so now we're just left with this turn back here, and then the two right here. So I'll put the thumbprint in that little part right here. And then same thing on this one. And then one last turn back here. And they're left with that. So now that we've done those, we can go in and do the decoration cuts. So what I do with those is all the ones that you put the thumbprint in and bring it back. I'll just do the same thing with the swivel knife in the center of it. And then so start out the line, start the cut, bring it back and then slowly fade out. I'll do that to all these. And then on these turn backs, what I'll do is right here, I'll just put two little lines there. And that's what I do for the decoration cuts on the turn backs. So I'll go through and do those. All right, and then on this, this little thing right here, I just kinda, you can do it, play around, do different looks on them, but for the most part, I just do like a little loop right here, and then another one here. And then on the stems, what you can do, you can just, you just kind of do whatever. Um, play around, see what looks good. You don't want to overdo it, obviously, but just adds a little bit of flow to it. So now, all of the floral tooling is done. So from here, we'll bevel it. I'll do that quickly because I don't have much memory again yet. I'll just do this little section right here just to save some time. But you bevel it out and you only bevel where you cut. So on the places that it went over and you didn't cut it, you don't bevel it there. And then once you're done beveling it, you're going to take whatever background you have. I have a bar grounder and you'll just go through and all in these backgrounds here, just 
just add some background. So I'll go do that to the whole pattern and then I'll come back to show you guys what that looks like. So here we have the final product after going through and beveling the border and putting the background in.